All right, boys and girls, it's the morning. It's around eight o'clock in the morning. You all know how I feel about mornings, but anyway. New person today, another new person on the channel. It's called Richard. Richard is actually in training for his private certificate. He's watched the videos on the channel before and he wanted to go up and practice some instrument stuff. He's obviously working with his instructor on getting his private certificate. It's a bit rude. But like I said, he wanted to come up with me and do some instrument work. So he's prepared, at least, let's say that. That's Richard there, getting the plane ready. That's what it should be. Student gets the plane ready, the instructor vlogs. Let's go. Out 7 at 3 0 2 4. Visual approach to the use. Land fire runway 7. Use caution to activate on them in the center of the air. It's like these guys are in competition to see who can read it off the yeah, fastest. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Delta, got it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the cockpit. This is Richard. Hello. Hello. Kind of introduced without really introducing you. And you're coming along with us. This is a beautiful plane, by the way. See from that, that. I was mentioning last time that the panel was so clean. Shame the pilot flies like <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Executive Tower, Skyhawk 38110 is holding short for runway 7, ready for uh, takeoff. Number 3110 on Executive Tower, good morning. After departure, proceed northwestbound. The wind is 04, runway 7, quick takeoff. Runway 7, clear for takeoff, 38110. Welcome to the sky. Beautiful morning. Absolutely. Almost worth waking up early. <laughs> A little hazy out there. A little bit. Forget the private check ride, go straight to your instrument, man. <laughs> this is... Skyhawk connects to 337, seven miles west of Space Coast, sound reference maneuvers south of speed. Is that Rachel? Yes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you on the ground, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't call last night. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, give me a heading of... We'll do 150. Alright, let's start setting this yeah, approach. 433, contact Jacksonville approach, 118.6, good day. I'm just going to kind of brief this before we give them a call okay. and just to explain to you people. The reason we're doing this is just to get familiar with it. We're not, you know, going to be too heavy on procedural stuff. So um, we're doing the ILS runway 7 at Orlando Executive. Localizer approach course, uh, sorry, uh, frequency is 109.9. .9, so that is set in. We got 073 setting on the OBS. Airport elevation 113. Runway uh, landing. It's 5,704 feet. Atis, we'll get in a second one with approach. We got tower going in on standby, 118.7. So we're going to get vectors to the final approach fix, which is, which is Denmore. We need to be at 2,000 feet at Denmore, which is 60 ME. That's glide slope intercept. Remember, we'll intercept the glide slope, descend on it. Uh, kind of set ourselves up for a descent maybe half a mile before it. Uh, then descend on the glide slope to a minimum of 309. We'll look up at 309. If we've got the runway, we'll land. If not, then we'll go mist. Climbing straight ahead on the ORL 066 radial. The M shell at 1500 feet, which is 6.5 DME. And then a climbing left turn to 1600 feet, heading 020 on the 049 radial and hold at Oviedo. Uh, that's the Mr. Pro. Obviously, we're going to have visual today. And that is the approach set up. So I'll contact approach control. I want to approach Skyhawk 3811 Sierra with request. Skyhawk 3811 Sierra, land approach, block 0356. From Sierra, radar contact 10 west of Apopka Airport, altimeter 3025, say your intention. Alright, we just like to get on uh, the ILS 07 approach into executive to a full stop uh, for a bit of practice for 11 Sierra. 3811 Sierra, maintain VFR, flighting 140, back to the final. 140, back to the final, 11 Sierra. 140, I was so close. But all that briefing is for is to get it clear in your head what you're doing and set everything up for you so you're not kind of playing with this while you're trying to fly the ILS. 
Sky one one zero, turn left any one three zero. One three zero, one one zero. So uh, 21 miles, we're in nav mode on the localizer frequency, that's where we're getting signal. Funny how your body tells you you're, you're flying one way yeah. and you're looking at the gauges. Absolutely. And it's not that way. Really weird, isn't it? Yeah. I can see how somebody can get in trouble quick. Yeah. yeah. November 3811 Sierra is uh, six miles from Denmore, turn left heading 100. Maintain 2000 till established on localizer, cleared out last runway 7 approach. Left turn 100, maintain 3000 to establish, cleared, dial S7 approach, 110. Nice, so he's cleared us for the approach, so now we, we're okay to intercept that whenever it comes in. Alright, so now it's the edge of the zone, I'm starting to start start yeah. departure. Yeah. Kind of anticipate on the ILS. They, Number three, one one here, contact exact tower, one one eight point seven, good day. Eighteen seven, thanks for the help, one one here. And executive tower, uh, Skyhawk three eight one one Sierra on the ILS seven, full stop. Sky three eight one one Sierra, land executive ground, runway seven, clear land. <laughs> ground, okay. Runway seven, clear land, one one Sierra. Can we get a uh, wind check? Number one one Sierra, wind zero eight zero five, alternative three zero two four. Roger. Ah oh, yeah, so zero eight zero five, so we got a little bit of a wind pushing okay. us to the right side. So the heading here is, has got to change. So 073 is the approach course, but we've got to kind of crab into 080 to stop it pushing us in or pushing us away from the uh, the localizer. That's when things start to become tricky in, uh, in uh, instrument stuff. What I like about what you're doing is you're not overcorrecting. A lot of people right now will be doing this and this and this, trying to get back on that course. Yeah, I can see how quickly it would there. Yeah, I'm glad that happened today. I'll, I'll tell you why in a second. So, last time we flew, we had perfectly calm winds. Today we had a slight wind out the out the right side, which is kind of blowing us off. So you, you see that your heading has to be different than, than what it is here. So it's not going to be 073, you kind of got to point into it a little bit. So what was happening there was you were kind of chasing the needle a little bit. Once it was going off, you were chasing it. And once it was going off again, you're kind of chasing it. You should let the needle chase you. You pick something, you stick with it, see what the needle does. If it's not quite right, change it again, stop, see what it does, and let it come to you. If you keep chasing it and stuff like that, it's, it's gonna it's gonna keep going off, and you're gonna be unstable on the approach. And that's what that was. And I'm very glad. I'm very glad that happened. The opportunity is there for you to learn with that wind. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah.